And community leaders to criminal justice experts have been weighing in since the Chauvin guilty counts came in. Our Brooke Katz continues our live team coverage tonight. She's in the CBS NDFW studio with that perspective for us. Brooke? And Doug, for the most part, they all agree the outcome today was fitting. Still, they say more work has to be done. This verdict was a verdict for law enforcement, good law enforcement officers who are afraid to speak up and speak out because they will have some retaliation against them. Relief, but still reservations. It's a horrible feeling that you live in a country that is based on the premise that we have freedoms, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and freedom from fear. And the very person we put in position to defend and protect us are the ones that a segment of your community, the African American community, fear for their lives. Religious leaders like Kiev Tatum and Freddie Haynes saying accountability doesn't necessarily mean justice. True justice, of course, would be George Floyd being alive today. True justice would be ensuring that what happened to him never, ever takes place again. But activists like Corey Sessions say it's a step in the right direction. The blue wall began to crumble at its foundation. Police officers know that they can face time and be convicted for murder. Uh, when they abuse their authority and someone dies from Dr. Robert Bing, a professor at UT Arlington, specializes in race and crime. He says this decision didn't surprise him, but it's too early to say just how this will affect other cases involving officers. Police officers need to learn to behave more like guardians and less like warriors when they are patrolling minority neighborhoods. And Doug, those community leaders say they don't want to get too excited about this case and how it was handled just yet because there are still others, including the trial for Aaron Dean, the former Fort Worth officer indicted for the murder and the shooting death of a Tatiana Jefferson.